going on? Good Friday morning, guys. How's everybody doing? Nice and cool up here today, this morning. Woke up, freezing. Good. Nice night to leave the windows open. All the humidity's gone for now. Don't know how long that's gonna last, but we'll take it. We'll take it for as long as we can get it. I uh, just thought I'd give a little update on uh, what the, the plane, and I started the ironclad, the Chinese ironclad. Um, we'll start with the Moreau. She's all built. Um, I got it done yesterday, let it dry overnight. I'm gonna paint it today. Um, come on, pretty cool. cool. Pretty cool little kit. Um, a big thanks to, a big shout out and thanks to uh, Mr. Tom. Well, Rambler69, <laughs> um, I found out that this Heller kit, oh, oh, this little Heller kit I got here, I might even keep this box. Well, you know what, hang on guys, there we go, that's better. This uh, Heller kit uh, is 52 years old. Um, Tom gave me some info on it, and um, I have the original kit. This is 52 years old. Um, that would explain the no flash on it. Absolutely no flash on this plane. Very, very minimal uh, seam line stuff I had to clean up. Uh, I was very impressed with this for a little kit. Um, she built up pretty nice. Um, I had a, there's a slight warp in the rear tail section here. When you look down the plane, the, the, the tail section got a little warp in it. Um, I, I don't know if it's from age. I don't know if it was left in the heat at some point. But uh, it's very minimal, very minimal. But uh, she went together pretty cool. Um, I did a couple of little... Uh, Upgrades on her, if you will. Um, there she is. Um, our propeller works now. Um, our wheels roll. And our gun works in the back. It did not. I don't know if I can get it to focus. I don't know if I can do it without breaking it. <laughs> well, she goes up and down. And it swivels. It does swivel. So, paint shop today, hopefully. Get them in the paint shop. These were fun putting on. They got two little spotlights on either end of the wing. Uh, those were a lot of fun. I don't know if you can even see them. But we got them on. But, uh, yeah, pretty cool little build to be honest with you. So that will get painted today, hopefully. Uh, the Chinese ironclad. Yeah, oh boy. It's a 1350 scale, but uh, wow, um, a nice kit. Um, I've never heard of this company before. Bronco models, I've never heard of them before. Uh, pretty uh, intricate. Uh, <clears throat> wobbly mode boys pretty intricate um, directions um, yeah, you gotta really pay attention a lot of small pieces a lot of PE um, and then you gotta watch which way you're building it because if you're building it in the 1894 uh, uh, configuration you have things you have to cut off of it um, but I'm not. I'm going to build it the 1885 version. 
There was an 1885 version and the 1894 version. So we're going to do the first one. Uh, nice little stand. It came with a nice little stand. Got that all built up. Oh, we got that. And then I started started to work. I got my hull all together. I still got to sand it, but I got it together. And this was not fun. Um, this plastic, for some reason, I don't know how to explain it to you. It's uh, very hard. It's very... It's like the glue doesn't melt it. Uh, it, was, uh, it was just, it's weird. Uh, I had a real tough time getting this thing to, to glue together. Um, so, I got it so I could, it all pushed out at the, at the seam, so now once I sand that, that seam's gone now. So that's what you get for using that uh, liquid plastic there, or the plastic weld. Open up that seam, put that stuff in there, and if you keep pressing it together, you'll you'll eventually plastic soft enough that you'll squish out plastic in between the seam line. Let it dry good overnight, and now when I sand this down, you, that seam's gone now. So no putty, no nothing. So yeah, it uh, what it, I just don't know how to explain the feel of the plastic. You know, it's it's like a hard, uh, it's, you know, it's just, um, I don't know. I don't know. All right, sorry, so we got that. Um, I've been working on the gun. I'm making the gun so that they turn. Um, they did not turn. They do not turn in the directions. Um, there was the... Uh, the piece that comes down from here will, it will, is only long enough. This is going to be the front gun. Um, the piece that came from the bottom of that gun was long enough to be to be even to be even with the bottom here. So I was taking it that they wanted you to glue the guns in. Well, uh, no, guns turn. They're not glued in. So we did a little adapting and stuff. So uh, we got that so that now I got enough room here if I can get it in. Oh, there we go. So now our gun will turn. And we got enough down in there so that it can't come out. So we got that done. Um, I still got... Uh, I got a little PE hook I got to put on the end of this right here. And I'm, that's not going to get done, I think, till a later date because I know I'll snap the freaking thing right off. Um, I still got railings to put on here. And I've got these masts. Working on these masts. Well, we can see the little PE, PE pieces up underneath there. There, there, there. But, um, yeah, see, now this is where I messed these up, guys. There's supposed to be four on, on a thing, but the, the way you look at the directions, it looks like there's only three. So what I, I uh, the next, I, I will fix that. I, I have two more to do, and that'll be fixed. Um, uh, I, put them, I put them in the wrong place on here because of, because of the way I was looking at the directions. Um, to, in order to put the fourth one on this side, it will be right in the middle of the ladder. There's a little ladder on here that you probably will never be able to see. Yeah, you see the little rungs? Well, that's where it goes up underneath. And if I put that other piece there, because of the way they showed it in the directions, it would be right in the middle of that hatchway. So, but I'll fix that up here. I'll have to offset them in a different configuration. I just wish the directions would have been better and explained it a little more. So, but, uh, whatever. It'll be fixed the next ones. Nobody's going to know but me. Well, you now. <laughs> but, 
Yeah, directions sometimes, you know. And I sat there and looked at him and looked at him because it's just so freaking, uh, not confusing, but, you know, there's just so much there that you got to look at. So I got the other top mask. They let that dry overnight. Now I'm working on little guns. I'm working on these little... These little uh, guns here. I gotta make eight of them. Right here. See that little shoulder? That little shoulder brace I gotta try to put on the end of these? Let me show you how big these are. Wobbly mode. Now that's a regular size toothpick. That's how big those guns are. Wait till you see how big the little shorter things are. <laughs> there they are, right in that upper right hand corner. You, you can't even see them? Nine of them. Look at that. <laughs> I'm gonna try. I'm going to try. There you go there, Bri. There you go. This ought to be fun. If I lose one, none of them are getting it. Because I only have enough to do uh, the nine guns. So, that's going to be today after we come. Mrs. Max taking me off for breakfast. She has to go to work. So when I come home, we'll get uh, jump back on there. I want to get the plane painted and done. So that'll be priority. So, all right, guys, this is my update. Um, have a nice Friday. Have a nice weekend. Everybody be safe. Be cool. Peace out.